Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week 9 of our PGL matches and this is actually going to be the second last week against Papa C. This was a match that I was looking forward to. Uh, he definitely sniped me out of my Mega Beedrill pick, which I did definitely, definitely want, but I did get a slightly faster Mega with Mega Al Alakazam and I have been having a whole lot of fun with the Alakazam here and the rest of my team in general. He does have a Celesteela, which of course is near and dear to my heart, as well as Tapu Bulu, which uh, I will face again really soon in a UBL match this weekend as well. So in all honesty, his team threw me off quite, quite a bit. I did kind of sort of expect Trick Room to come. I did kind of think that Bula was an option for him. I definitely thought that Celesteela would come, but also more than anything, I'm really surprised that the Spear Tomb or the Stack Attacka didn't come because I did definitely kind of expect some sort of a Trick Room core in this matchup because I did have the speed between Electrode and Mega Alakazam for him to bring that kind of stuff. And, all, and in all honesty, I just built a pretty fast team. Figured, hey, I'm going to do my absolute best to try to prevent any Trick Room shenanigans from happening. But I don't even see those two here. Either way, yeah, no, I could just get into the match here. I believe, as I do pretty often at this point, I do end up leading with the Mega Alakazam. And I don't recall even a little bit what he let off with. Oh, he let off Gligar, but it was pretty obvious to me in the moment that it was going to be a Zorark, and I knew that it had a very strong chance of being a Scarf Zorark. So I make the direct switch into my um, my Premier Inning here, and I knew that he had some decent Moon Blast resist on his team, so I didn't want to go for the Scarfed. Moonblast right away, and honestly, this was a risk, because if he wasn't Scarfed, I made the hard Scarf read, but if he wasn't Scarfed, then he could have followed up with a Sludge Bomb, who the heck knows, but either way, I knew he did have those Moonblast resists, and I did end up going for the Surf, just in case, uh, to deal a little bit more damage, and it is a 2 hit KO on the Cobalion, and this is where I clearly reveal Scarf, because my Premierna is able to outspeed this thing, and so now he 100% knows that I'm Scarfed, I get it. And he ends up going straight into his Feraligator. He does just give me the Cobalion, but ends up going straight into the Feraligator. Now here I make the biggest mistake in the match. I end up staying in and going for Surf. Now what I didn't realize in the moment, uh, because in all honesty, at, th at this moment in the match, I was just, I just kind of clicked buttons way too early, but if I had like given myself an extra like five seconds to think this through, and in all honesty, I did realize this like as soon as I clicked Surf. I, if I had just gone into the, the Electrode, which was the correct play in this situation, then he would have been uh, limited to one Dragon Dance. And my Electrode is EV to outspeed the Mega Beedrill, which Mega Beedrill, or which that speed number allows me to outspeed a max speed Jolly for Alligator at plus one. And he told me after the match that it was adamant either way. But the point is. There was no reason not to go into Electrode in that moment, but for whatever reason, I stayed in. I knew I, I knew that Surf was not going to do enough, but I, my thinking there was that I could um, deter him from going like up to like some some crazy number, or even just giving up the Premier into there would have been like beneficial, like in the longer run there. But uh, it just didn't make any sense. It. Uh, in all honesty, I just, like I said, I clicked uh, the move way too early, and uh, as soon as I pressed it, I knew it was a mistake, and then once I looked at my team again, I knew that it was a mistake. Uh, but yeah, no, here he's just going to be able to take out my entire team. Now, I, I did have one single solitary play, right? So I see him going for the liquidation, right? And... I go into the Electrode thinking if he goes for the Liquidation, I have a chance to Aftermath him and then come back with Extreme Speed. And he was obviously smart enough to go for the Earthquake, not even make contact with my Electrode because Aftermath only triggers uh, if if uh, the attack that he takes me out with makes contact. And he could have also been playing around Static as well because the same goes for Static. But I was Aftermath and I did think that I would be able to uh, take it out with some Aftermath and the Extreme Speed, but uh, as you can see from the HP, it doesn't even make too much of a difference, and 
my Embor is scarfed, and the fact that it was scarfed made me think that Sucker Punch would not be as necessary, but Sucker Punch here also could have saved me. There were just so many mistakes made around this for Alligator, and uh, it just basically tore through my entire team. Uh, there's not really a whole lot that uh, I could have said or done in that moment, except, of course, if I'd just gone into the Electrode. So, what he told me after the match was that um, he felt confident enough that even if I stopped him from going to plus two by going into Electrode, he had better switch-ins to Electrode than he did to my Pre-Marina, which, fair play, makes sense, but uh, he was essentially giving me the free damage there, so I don't... I don't know, it was a bit of an iffy play either way, he could have definitely gone into the Gligar, played some head games, uh, the, Gal the Gligar probably could have packed U-turn or something like that, gotten the initiative and then it would have been on from there, but if anything, I'm not that disappointed in losing, I'm disappointed that it wasn't as competitive as I would have liked to have been. We didn't get 6-0, definitely did not get 6-0, but uh, yeah, this was a pretty, pretty rough loss. Either way, we were both more or less mathematically eliminated from playoffs unless some crazy losses happened, and, and of course one of us has to win out, we do have an equal record, one of us has to win out uh, in order to be in contention. So I was already like on the edge of contention, maybe possibly, if a lot of things ended up happening but now i'm absolutely out of contention week 10 is gonna be a lot of fun but uh i guess we're just gonna have to see what we can do there but with that thank you guys so much for watching and i'll be once again